In Borono State, Governor Babagan Azulum has supervised the distribution of 175 million Naira cash assistance and food palliatives to more than 50,000 vulnerable persons in the Equalical Government Council of the state. This, according to the governor, is part of his 10 pact development agenda of bringing soccer to survivors of insurgency. TVC News Jesse Tafida reports. It's about 90 kilometer drive from Maiduguri to the Kualukul Council, a town once ravaged by Boko Haram insurgency and its people displaced. But things have now changed with the Kwa residents back to their places of abode. Governor Baba Gina Zulum is here to support them with cash, food, and non food items. In Borno State, we have started distribution of palliatives since May 2011 to date because of the insurgency that we have been facing. So I think for us it's a continuation. So today we are here to see how we can you know, support the downtrodden of this community. While we are providing immediate palliatives to the community, it is a well-known fact that provision of palliatives will not be sustainable. These are shorter term solutions. We have to look into medium and longer term sustainable solution, which is for us to invest in agriculture. Over 15,000 male head households receive one bag of rice, one bag of maize grain each. For female heads of household, a wrapper and 35,000 naira cash was given to each. Bono State Government will invest in agriculture, especially modern agriculture. Luckily enough for me, my predecessor has procured agricultural equipment. No any state in Nigeria has the type of agricultural equipment that Bono State Government has. We must address poverty. We have to address the social, economic and political dimension of this crisis. That's the most important thing that we need to do. Governor Baba Gina Zulum says he is targeting about 400,000 people in this phase of palliative distribution with priority on communities affected by Boko Haram insurgency. Beneficiaries appreciate the gesture, which they say would go a long way in alleviating their sufferings. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Dikwa.